The 1990s in movie making was a boundary pushing decade. Erotic thrillers such as Basic Instinct, Body of Evidence and Wild Things really pushed the envelope for sex on the big screen. There were also films that dealt with sexual taboos that were getting big screen releases. Sister My Sister, a British film from 1994, pushed the sexual taboo subject upon its release. But were we Brits ready for it at that time? Very good. 150 francs a month. Sunday's free until four. Sleep, my little sister, sleep. In a beautiful house, kept perfect by the perfect servants. Sisters. We have pearls on our hands. Two pearls. Everything is in its place. Madame is so precise, so careful. She doesn't let us get away with a thing. Why should she? It's her house. It's better that way. But beneath the respectable exterior... These two are different. You mark my words. They're bound for life, bound in blood. Something <laughs> is stirring. And they've always kept themselves. Every Sunday up in that room. That cannot be denied. Christy, it's beautiful. It's you who are beautiful. That cannot be controlled. Now I see. And can only be ended. They're getting careless. She sees things. This is impossible. Things that aren't even there. Her and her daughter. By a shocking act of violence. Two sisters are hired as housekeepers by a tyrannical madame. These two sisters suffered abuse at the hands of their overbearing mother, their new employer and a group of nuns who constantly ensured they were never alone. The two sisters, Christine and Leah Papin, spent 24 hours a day with each other. They had no friends and slept in the same bed together. Due to the suffocating environment they lived and worked in, their minds started to warp and they became lovers as well as sisters. Their only source of happiness was stubbed out when the madame discovered them in the attic, naked. Christine and Leah wanted to be together, so butchered their employer to death. Now, that sounds like the stuff of a horror movie, but it actually happened nearly 90 years ago in a small French village. French novelist and playwright Jean Genet wrote a hugely successful play in 1947 called The Maids, which was based on the original story. It then got adapted for the big screen in 1975. The film, also called The Maids, starred Glenda Jackson and Susanna York. It was a tepid affair. Then came American playwright Wendy Kesselman with her own play called My Sister in This House. It became the most successful version based on Christine and Leah's story. Kesselman won the Playbill Playwriting Award for it. It toured across America and the world to great acclaim. But nobody had the balls to tackle the taboo subject matter to such depth and sizzling sexual desire that Kesselman's play took the story to. That was until NFH Productions, who had already produced sexual desire films Burning Secret and Dangerous Liaisons, joined with Channel 4 Films to adapt Kesselman's play for the big screen. Kesselman took on screenplay duties herself, and American theatre director Nancy Meckler was hired to direct it. It would be Meckler's debut film work, as she had previously directed the works of Shakespeare, Chekhov and Sam Shepard at some of the most iconic playhouses and theatres in England but Meckler had never been involved in a production with such a taboo subject. There is very little information about the film's release. It was released in the summer of 1995 in America where it made a meagre $217,000. Its UK's release wasn't until December. Certainly doesn't feel like the type of film that would sell well at Christmas. But then, how do you sell a drama horror that involves incest? Maybe. It could be sold as a gothic feature film and focused on that instead because Sister My Sister is very much in the classic gothic traditions of psychological horror rather than full on blood and guts. This is a film that focuses on the tortured relationship that the sisters had to endure at the hands of the ruthless madame. You can feel their anguish and anger every step of the way as they are treated like shit. They speak to no one but each other. They dare not even answer, let alone speak back to the madame or her put-on daughter for fear of recrimination. This is a movie that revels in its twisted psychology. 
What to say about the passion between the two sisters? It's a slow build. As it begins to build, it's coming more from Leah than it is the forceful sister Christine. Christine resists. She knows it's wrong, but Leah continues to use the word play, like a child describing going out having fun with their mates. But Leah uses it in the wrong context, or the context that she thinks it should be used in. Leah is effectively still a child. Even the photographer calls her a child, but that does not excuse the path the relationship takes. It becomes hot and heavy towards the end. The movie almost dares us to continue to watch as the sisters make love. They know, and we know, that it's wrong, but can you look away? Because what you're watching is a form of escapism. An escape from the torment both sisters have to endure every single day. Sister My Sister is very much a play put on film. Minimal sets, only four actors throughout, and while many films try to break free of their theatre staging, Sister My Sister uses it to great effect, creating a claustrophobic environment for the sisters and also for the viewer. Richardson and May captivate as the two sisters, yet it is the performance by Julie Walters as the madame of the house that steals the movie. A no-nonsense character with little to no care for anybody but herself. She even demeans her own daughter after beating her at a game of cards. Walters plays a mean bitch, and it's easy to see why the sisters end up killing her character. You can even be excused for celebrating the death at the end. But celebrating a movie about incest? That's another question entirely. This Crimes of Passion movie is a story about obsession brought about by isolation and emotions left over from childhood. It's amazing. They don't even look like maids anymore. You never stick up for me! Don't be angry with me. You're all I have, Leah. You're all I'll ever have. Going to church every Sunday thinking you were a child of God? Oh, madame, stop, please. Christine! Christine! God forgive me for what I have harbored here. Sleep, my little sister, sleep. Sleep through darkness, sleep so deep.